<laughs> hey friends, I'm so glad you could join me today. I want to give you an idea that you can work with your preschoolers and even your younger children about their colors. And so we've made little color windows. Yep, with the with the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And then when you cover them over, see that one makes purple. <laughs> and then you go this way, it makes green. And then if we'll do the yellow and the red, it makes orange. <laughs> so those are the secondary colors. And this would be something you can tell with all your kids. Now if you put all the kids all of the colors together, <laughs> then it makes the color brown. I don't know if you knew that, but all colors put together, it's also known as mud. <laughs> so anyway, that'll help a lot. Uh, even though I have a degree in art, we still had to learn this and we had to do color wheels, but this is such an easy way to do it. So we use some cardstock and we use some plastic file folders. So if you can find the, the plastic folders, then you could cut these little plastic shapes with for the different colors. So you just have to watch for that. So what we did was we folded a piece of black cardstock in half. So fold it in half and then you put it in your die press, but don't let that fold get cut. You just want it to stick out so it doesn't get cut. And then it'll cut out the rest of it and let you have a little Taco, you know what I'm saying? All right, so then you you go ahead and you get your, I'm gonna do it on the white plate so you can see it a little bit better. But you add, you add the color right there. Now I'm gonna try this with some double stick tape. If you wanna try glue, that would work fine too. But I was thinking either tape or double stick tape would work great. And then whenever I close it, it would stick on both sides. And that would be great. So, all right, I'm gonna close it. And that'll make the paddle. Good. So it's in seal it's all sealed in that way. Let's try it with the others real quick. And then we'll punch a hole in it and add the brad so that you can turn them and see the different colors that it'll make. Maybe it's something that you want to make for each of your preschoolers that they can practice with at home when you're learning the colors or you can have them in your classroom and get them out when it's time to practice our colors. So there's the yellow and finally this red. We're going to call it red. It looks very pink to me. So it'll fit in here just fine even though it has one flat side. So stick that in there. Good. I'm gonna do one at the bottom too because there'll be someone who'll try to open it. Good. All right, so that's sealed. Fantastic. Now, we can put these together and we can punch a hole, but it's not very easy unless you've got a real sharp pair of a hole punch. And by the way, you don't because we've had these forever. We just keep using them and using them. So just make sure you get it kind of in the middle of each one of them. And that way you'll save your wrist and your grip from hurting when you do it. All right, we put them together, line up the holes. I think you can see that I'm lining up the holes so I can push the brad through and then I can open it up and it's ready to turn. On the back, we just left it wide open, but if you think that's gonna be a problem for some kiddo, like maybe it would scratch them or something, you can always just do a, a piece of tape over it so that way they leave it shut. <laughs> all right, because that doesn't really show up all that much and it very much helps when you're trying to learn and around those colors. So there you go. You can make these color paddles for yourself and for each of your kids and have a great year teaching the colors. <laughs>